this journey feels pretty lonely. Now, I'm not saying that I'm alone in life, but at the beginning stages that I'm in right now, it can feel awfully lonely at times. So, let's talk about it. So late last night, I was sitting there finishing up some work. I was actually working on a video edit. I'd gotten the title done, gotten the thumbnail done, was just waiting for the computer to render the video. I sat back in my chair, and I just felt an overwhelming feeling of just being alone. Now, alone in a sense that there's nobody to help do the work, right? I've heard all the advice where you should leverage your money to gain back your time, right? So you pay people to do the things that either you don't want to do or the things that you're not good at to gain back your time. Spend the money so that you can spend the time, your most valuable commodity, doing the things that you're good at. But I'm just not at that stage right now. I'm in the beginning stages. There's nobody there to help me do the work. So these things that I'm trying to do to achieve my goals, my overarching umbrella goal of freedom, freedom of time and financial freedom. So to boil these down a little bit, I want to have freedom of time to be in service of others. I want to be able to spend the time to work on and develop revenue streams because I'm tired of trading hours for dollars. Now they go deeper than that, but for the sake of this discussion, we're just gonna leave them at that. The overarching goal or project that I'm working on is developing and building this brand. I see it as a vehicle for connecting with people and that lives up to my overall why, to ignite people's self-confidence so that they can create a better future. And part of building this brand is these, these shows, episodes, videos, podcasts, whatever you want to call them. The other aspect of that is I've worked on and developed my mindset journal, the thing that I use to help me design my life and plan my life. And another of those is working on and developing a t-shirt brand or an apparel brand that's all built around phrases that have impacted my life along this journey. So I've developed all the designs. I have the designs done and it's time for me to create the mock-ups, you know, so that I can put them on a website or, or start marketing them. And I'll be honest, I don't really know how to do that. So I've done some research on it to understand it a little bit. And I remembered back to that advice that you should leverage money to gain your time. Cause I know that it's going to take a while. It's going to take time. It's going to take me learning a program possibly. So I reached out to a graphic designer that we have used in the past. And I'll be honest, it was out of my budget. It was just something that I could not leverage money to gain back my time. So it's on me. I'm going to have to figure it out. And then there's also the building of the website or building the, the online store. Again, I don't know how to do that. I know there's a plethora of information out there, but it's going to take time. The only thing that I have that I can leverage right now is my time. So pay somebody to do it, or is it just gonna be me? Probably me. You know, all the, all the behind the scenes work for these episodes, these videos, the research, the shooting, the editing, thumbnails, titles, SEO, all of that stuff that goes into doing these is all on me. Now, I do have tools that I use that, that, I, that make it a little bit simpler, but still the fact of the matter is, there's nobody that's doing the work to manipulate those tools or to, to get the information that I need. It's all on me. I've even reached out to a couple of my friends to see if they would like to do a podcast with me or, you know, get on video and, and do that. And some of them have shown some interest. There's some that just don't want anything to do with it. Perfectly fine. I get that. But there are some that do want to do it, but it's going to take me to push it, to set it up, to get it all done. I don't tell you all of this to get any sympathy or anything. It's just simply to illustrate my point that I'm not there yet to leverage money for my time back. The only thing I have to leverage is my time. And that's where it can be lonely. And that's the thing. All of that, knowing that that's all on me, that can be a very lonely place to be. But you know, that's what, that's another thing that they say. It's supposed to be hard, right? Like anything worth having is working hard for, right? You know, growth doesn't happen in your comfort zone. And I definitely agree with all those sayings, but it doesn't make it any less challenging. Now, I also have heard that the challenges don't get easier. They just get harder as you become more successful or you continue down that journey. But the fact is that you become more adept to deal with those challenges, to take on those harder and harder things. 
And I heard this analogy the other day that really kind of put it into perspective. They said, in the beginning, it can feel like you're alone in the woods trying to fight off a grizzly bear with just a stick. That's a scary thing to be thinking about. I don't want to be messing with any grizzly bears, especially alone and with just a stick. So my mindset built around all this when I'm feeling lonely or I'm feeling like there's these challenges are just insurmountable. I ask not for a lighter burden, but for broader shoulders. That makes me remember a conversation that I had a while ago with a friend of mine. And we were talking about working out and our routines. And he goes to the gym and he's got buddies that he works out with. And I was telling him that, yeah, I just, you know, I, for my choice, I do it in my home gym by myself. He's like, man, I don't know that I could find the motivation or keep the motivation to actually do the work. Now, I don't disagree with him. It's a challenge to push yourself through when it's just you. There's nobody there cheering you on or rooting you on. But you see, that's the reality of it. Nobody else can lift the weights for you or run those miles. It's only you. And you've got to continue to do that and put in the time to see the benefit of it. Because you see, as time went on, it wasn't that the loads or the workouts got any easier. In fact, the loads got heavier. The weight got heavier. I challenged myself and I did workouts that were harder. It was the fact that over time, I got stronger. I gained the experience and the strength to be able to do more. I do honestly believe that with time, I will find that success that I will achieve my goals. I don't want a lighter load, but through this journey that I gained the experience, the knowledge and the skills to be able to take on those challenges and be more adept to overcome them. You see, that's the other thing is it just takes time. There's no such thing as an overnight success. You know that saying too, good things come to those who wait. I call bullshit on that. Good things come to those who put in the work and are ready for the opportunity when it arises. You see, that's what luck is. Luck is the intersection of hard work and opportunity. You see, again, that's where the success comes. It comes from doing the work, sticking to it, and not giving up. Believing in yourself and understanding that nobody's coming to do the work for you. Nobody's coming to save you. It's your life, and it's on you to make of it what you will. Because, hey, building something is challenging. Transforming yourself is hard. Changing your mindset is difficult. Striving for your goals is a lonely place to be sometimes. But see, you're not alone. There are other people out there that are dealing with very similar situations. So you've got to believe in your process. You've got to continue down that path, even when it gets hard, when you want to give up. Keep going. I believe in you. You got this. I appreciate you being here. And if you've listened this far and you found value in this, please consider subscribing. I really would appreciate it. And if you want to see another video of mine, check out right here. As always, make the day great, make the day yours. We'll catch you next time. See ya!